state firefighters are still battling numerous brush fires, dozens of them. Today's forest fire danger remains at a very high level. Officials are asking people to avoid any unnecessary burning. Tonight being Halloween and with the Diwali uh, event tomorrow, we're asking people please don't have open fire pits, don't use open flames, period. Don't use sparklers or fireworks for any type of celebration because one errant spark could create a catastrophe. And as firefighters work to contain those brush fires, we are learning more about the different types of gear that crews are wearing to keep safe. Channel 3's Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live at the command center in Newington after speaking with first responders. Aya, what can you tell us about this forestry gear? Hi, Kara. Well, most local fire departments don't have forestry gear. What does that look like? Let me step out and show you. That's those yellow jackets you see over here, those loose green pants, uh, the long pants we've been seeing deep crews wearing. That clothes is fire resistant and typically lighter than the turnout gear local firefighters are typically wearing. Kara? So, A, I know you got to look at the turnout gear that firefighters put on when they fight things like house fires. How heavy is that? Kara, on average, it could be about 50 pounds, and we're talking about those heavy pants, the jackets, the helmets, the breathing apparatus that firefighters have to wear. So it is a lot of heavy gear. But for the firefighters, the local firefighters who are responding to these brush fires, we're told they're still wearing station gear, but not those heavy jackets and not those heavy pants, and they're still able to safely take on these brush fires. Kara? Okay, good to know. Aya, thank you. And switching gears, we're only five days away now from Election Day. 